Okay, this tutorial is for setting up a web page or a website with an, an Apache server. And um, the server we're going to be using is, is called uh, the Uniform Server. Okay, so first of all, the f first thing you want to do is go to the Uniform Server or UniformServer.com and uh, click on the download link there. And that should bring you to a SourceForge website. Uh, this is open source software, so it's free to, ba free to everyone. And uh, you want to click on download now, and it may be Uniform Server 5.6.8. Um, it could be something higher, um, but whatever it is, we're just going to download that. Okay, and once that's downloaded, I'll just wait for that to download. We'll save that, and I'll just save that to our desktop. Save. Okay, and once that's downloaded, we're just going to set up the website itself. Okay, that should be done in a couple of seconds. There we go. Okay, and once this is done, either go and find the folder you've downloaded it into, or like me, I'm just about to click run. Give it a couple of more seconds. 99%, yep. Good old Windows, taking ages to download something. Ah. Okay, well this is taking too long, so I'm just going to use my older version of um, the file. Okay, so once you've downloaded that, extract it, and then once you've extracted it, um, go and oh, double click it, and then once it's extracted, go into the f um, go into where you've saved it. So in my case, it's UniServer, and then oh, okay, well we'll go back to the old example. Okay, so I'm going to click Run on that, run the program, extract, it'll extract to the desktop. Just wait for that to be done. This does take a while on some systems. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that's done. Okay, so we're going to go into it. It'll be on the desktop. You can move this file um, wherever you want, basically, um, just as long as you move the whole file, not just parts of it, like in here. Okay, now if you've got Windows XP, all you have to do is double click on Start, and it'll start by itself, and everything will be fine. Um, if you're using Vista or anything above, go make sure you go right click Properties compatibility and uh, make sure you run make make sure you click run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP and run this program as an administrator and then click OK okay once that's done double click on start it should start down here and once this little icon on the taskbar pops up make sure you right click on it and then go to install and run all services okay so we're just gonna make sure those are all started by going right click server status okay this page is just the page that it um, automatically pops up when it's started um, it just tells basically telling you that it has started and up here it gives you all the stats um, it's got Apache 2.2.16 MySQL and PHP and the uni tray which is this icon down here okay so you can you minimize that okay now if you've got Windows XP these, um, the Apache install status and the MySQL install status should stay started or running, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you've got Vista or anything above hand, um, it should say undefined, and if it says undefined, it is running. Okay, so exit out of that. And once you've got that started, um, under www, that's your basic website. So index PHP is the site, is the page, oops, sorry, is, the, is this page here. Okay, so we're going to want to change that website, or that page, for a page of our own. So any page that you've got under there, HTML pages, PHP pages, any pages you've created, you put under here, delete that um, original one, and that's basically your website started. And then anything you want to access through, your, um, through the computer itself, just go to localhost up here. Go to localhost, and that'll go to the start page. And notice it doesn't say index.php because um, that's the default website, so it automatically loads the index.php file or index.html. Okay, and now we're going to go into our MySQL database, which is this file for storing, um, obviously, data uh, for certain websites that require it. And uh, you're going to go down to the, the one symbol on the side there, and then you're going to click on PHP MyAdmin. 
and it then it'll bring up this after a while it takes a while to load I'm not sure why um, I guess there's a lot of information there but once this is loaded you can add your own databases and um, if your site requires it um, in some case forums require it and uh, it loads all its information sort of there um, all its users all its passwords all that sort of thing and that just loads inside there and um, that's basically it um, this can be used on any uh, Windows operating system and most Linux operating systems and if and Mac operating systems as well so it comes in quite in comes in handy and uh, yeah also if you want to change your um, icon for the website itself which comes up here that little icon there that should normally come up um, just find a BMP file a bitmap file that you want uh, make sure it's 32 by 32 pixels and I'll just rename it once it's saved so it's, normally that would be favicon.bmp and then once it's saved like that just rename it favicon.ico or whatever you want to call it you can call it anything I'll just make sure you call it favicon yeah and then once it's done yeah you'll get the icon for your page and when people save them to their favorites it'll save as it uh, I'll be putting up another tutorial about setting up a website so people can access from the outside and uh, this will be using a static IP address from your ISP and also another tutorial on f forwarding ports for, um, through your router using virtual servers or just standard port forwarding on some routers. Okay, well, thanks for that.